Don't start writing your literature review before watching this video. You're about to waste time, yet you can get citations, articles, and even read articles very fast while understanding everything like a genius with this AI tool. I have used this free AI tool on all my dissertations and got the best results. It is a research tool on steroids, and everyone doing research uses it at every step to produce quality results. It can look for papers for you to do your literature search in minutes, summarize for you, interpret your results, and help you paraphrase to avoid plagiarism detectors. And all this is for free. I'm going to show you how this tool will skyrocket your literature search and turn your research time into a whole enjoyable experience. You can even ask it to get citations automatically, write for you literature review, and even summarize for you papers from all your sources, but also suggest for you free papers from all over the internet. The most important thing is that all this is for free. Yes, I have said it. It is for free. Let us get straight into it. Go to Google and search for Sci Space Chrome Extension. Then click on this one that says, Sci Space, do hours of research in minutes. It will open in Chrome Web Store. You can see it has over 200,000 downloads and all these wonderful reviews on it. We are now going to install it. Click Add to Chrome to install the extension, then follow the on-screen prompts as in the video to add it to your extensions. Proceed to pin it to your shortcuts. Now, the first time you're using this, you will be required to freely sign up. This is so easy. Just choose Sign Up with Google and then follow the on-screen prompts. If you face any challenges, you can contact me in the comments section. If you have an account, you will be directly signed in, and then the fun begins. Open your ChatGPT and type the following command. We want to test how best we can use ChatGPT and this tool to fasten our literature review process. Now type the following command into ChatGPT. I want to do research in quantum computing for my master's in CS. Give me one best title. ChatGPT is going to generate a title for you. You can use any of the research area you want to focus on, too. Now highlight this title and see the magic. This button of SciSpace pops up, and from here, a whole new world of your research journey starts. You can do so much with SciSpace. Let us ask it to explain this title. When you do this, another tab opens, as you can see, detailed points explaining our research topic are laid out. You can even ask follow-up questions as if you're discussing with a human. Let us highlight again and see what else we can do. Now click on Related Papers. Here we are going to have so many articles or papers on the same topic brought to us. You can even save these articles into your library. In the next video, I will show you how we can gather up so many articles about our literature from sources like Zotero and others and aggregate them into this tool, which is so easy and smooth. Now, these articles, you can even open the links and read further about them or even ask questions using SciSpace tools. Let us click on one and see what we can do about these articles and also see how fast we can read them and understand them. The question you are going to ask yourself is why you need a co-pilot to read articles. Why not do it manually? Yes, this is like a discussion friend who will tell you the most important points in the articles, explain to you the hard questions and terms in the articles. It can even help you as follow-up questions and even find more literature if you need more reading. It can help you summarize the important points and even help you in generating the citations. So, yes, you need a co-pilot to make it easy and quick for yourself, as we are going to see. Now, clicking on these articles opens into the general SciSpace dashboard and shows you the detailed article. You see, we have here the summary of the article. You can read the summary first and see if the article is worth spending your time on or not. You can check all these out about the paper, results, methods used, even summarize the paper. This is done automatically for you by the AI. Let us check the conclusions from this paper. As you can see, the AI quickly gives you conclusions about the paper. You can continue testing out the rest of the actions about the paper. You can do so much on this paper and understand it deeper. You can also open the references used in this paper. As you can see, we have a number of these references. All these can be downloaded and added to your library. Let us go back to the tab. As you can see, the tab has a section for literature review as well. In this, all you need to do is enter your research topic and literature review will be generated for you. 
Let us again use our ChatGPT generated title. Copy it and paste into the literature review tab, then enter. What happens is that the AI is going to go through your topic and look for the most relevant papers on your topic, summarize the top five articles, and give you a quick summary, but also give you the links to these latest articles. As you see here, you can even change the language of the articles, and the AI will give you results in your preferred language. You have all these options. You can filter by year if you want latest articles or old ones. You can choose any filter that you want. You can even search more papers by just clicking Show More Papers. As you can see, more papers have been generated for us. The AI orders these papers in the order of decreasing importance for you, such that it saves you time or organizing them. Here you have columns related to every article. From results column, literature survey, contributions, and many more, you can remove a column or add more column about the papers. As you can see, all these are the columns we can add. Let us add contributions column, and as you can see, it gets added. You can add more columns, as many as you want. These columns are relevant for you to further make conclusions and understand your research papers better. You can save all these articles into your library and later use them when referencing. Let us open one of the papers and read it in details. When you click it, it will open in a new tab and load the article for you. Let us now read the summary about this paper. When you click Go to Paper, you can see the details of the paper. You can also click on Full Text, and this will download the entire paper on your computer. Here you can read it further. This research AI is so advanced. Let us proceed to explore it. As you can see, when you go to the tab here, you can choose a language in which your articles should be explained to you. They have over 100 languages for you to choose from. You can choose Chinese, and the articles will be explained in Chinese. You can choose any language of your choice, and your articles will be explained in that language, including the follow-up questions. Let us now test more features of this AI tool. Go to Google Search and search using your research topic. I'm going to search paper on quantum computing. We get a lot of results from different common sources. When you highlight one of the search results, still the SciSpace button will load, and you can proceed to ask questions and also understand the section. You can see we have an option to see related papers. Let us assume you have found a paper that is interesting in the search results. You can see more related papers. You can also choose to chat with the paper. Let us open the paper. Here, highlights the introduction as you can see, immediately the AI loads all these options for you. You can save this highlighted section in your notes for further reference. You can check key takeaways, summarize it limitations, points to discuss, and many more. When you go through all these, you will have understood this article in and out. Let us click Save as you can see. Our Save tab appears and we can save this into one of our categories. Let us click on Summarize as you can see. The article is summarized for us already. You don't get to waste a lot of time reading but yet understand everything about the article. Let us now go back to the dashboard to explore more features of this tool. We have tried out Literature Review. You can also use it for extracting data from PDFs. As you can see, this loads a section for you to upload your PDFs. You can also upload an entire folder with your PDF articles and start working with them. You can further use this tool to paraphrase articles. This means the tool will help you filter out plagiarism and make your article or literature review appear original. Let us copy a sample paragraph into this paraphrasing tool and see how it works. You can choose the tone on writing from academic, fluent, etc. I always prefer academic. Now when you click paraphrase, your paraphrased article will be generated. As you can see, you can further edit it or add more text. You can even select sections and rephrase them. This tool will also show you how much of your content is AI generated. You can rephrase that content to appear more human-like. With this, even if your content is AI generated, no one will ever know. And also, it will be free from plagiarism. You can keep rephrasing all the content highlighted yellow until all your article reads mostly human-generated. Other features we saw what Literature Generator can do. You can use it to generate and read a huge number of articles in a very short time. We also have Citation Generator. This one, I will show you how to use it in my next video. You have a library here. This has all your articles you have been saving while using this tool. 
You can also import articles from Zotero. I will show you how to do this in my next videos. You can also upload articles if you have them on your computer. These will be used to reference and in generating citations. I will show you how to use all these in my next video. This has been an introduction to how to use this tool in doing research. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to use this tool when doing research in a practical sense as a continuation of our video series of doing research in a very short time using AI. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon such that you do not miss out any video from me. Thanks for watching. Do not miss the next video on the practical use of this tool while doing research.